what is going on out there good people and welcome back to lmd trading where i am living my dream trading hope everybody out there is doing well as for me as somebody used to say to me all the time when i used to ask them how they was doing say i'm doing good for an old man well guess what i am doing good for an old man because they were about the same age that I am right now when I used to ask how they were doing. So yeah, I'm doing good for an old man. Just sitting down here at the desk, um, figured I would look at these charts for a minute, um, kind of reflect. Yesterday, y'all, we had some good news. We had some bad news. You pretty much can see the bad news on the thumbnail so we'll talk about the good news and then we'll go into the bad news good news profit trade approved our payout y'all Yay! now i'm trying to figure out where they're gonna send it to because i have not given them any information on where they can send it um i noticed some other people on youtube had requested a payout as well and they're waiting so i'm not the only one in that boat so we'll see we'll see but um that's the good news bad news i blew up an account y'all i kaboomed the 25,000 about to say the 50,000 we're not gonna do that i kaboomed the $25,000 account y'all that was after being up on the morning um i was up prior to the market open market opened and i did some foolishness i'll admit it i did some foolishness and it cost me that account y'all so i um i went into profit trade i pulled up the trades and i'm gonna go ahead flip over to tos and we'll just kind of mark these trades on the TOS chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to blow up just the one minute chart. The one minute chart has channels for other times on it. So I'll kind of just look at these that are shown. We have this big like teal one this is coming off of most likely an hourly chart y'all this is coming off of an hourly chart we have this blue one right here this is coming off of a five minute chart and then we have an intraday one here um, i had taken some trades back over here around one o'clock this is what had me green on the going into the session so that's where that one is coming from this is where this five minute channel had been established at and there was one more way up there i saw yeah this green one right here this is a 15 minute channel so we could look at just the one minute chart and kind of see where everything was at but i kind of said i was done once i was green because just trying to slow grind that 25k pa account but something that me and spark talk about all the time spark is with spark and trade on youtube if you want to check him out um, but we talk all the time about our edge and our strategy and that we both have solid edge and we both have solid strategies for this market what will fail us is the psychology the stuff that people cannot train you on that's something that you have to it's like a muscle your mind is a muscle you have to build it like any other muscle and that muscle just failed me. It failed me big time. But um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to mark. 
I'm gonna mark some um I'm gonna mark a trend line on here for an intraday. So let's say I had sat down at my computer at around 745, 8 o'clock, 830, um, 845. We'll go with 845 though. Let's say I sat down around then. And I needed to find a channel. Um, I can start right here. I can go right there. And then I can drop it down. And see, I'm going to drop it right there. So that would be the channel that I would draw coming into the market at let's say 8 45 9 o'clock because i would have had this pivot formed so i'm use this pivot this pivot here and then i'm going to find the base this is something that spark gets on me about because he says it's not really clear but i'm going to use i want as many points touching on the low side or the opposite of the line that i'm using to get my trend going I don't want to put it here because just these areas here are going to touch. It's going to miss all of this. This area here, I like to call that the battle. It's where the bulls and the bears are trying to fight to either keep it in the channel or push it out. So that channel there is a good channel for me. So going into market open, let's look and see where we were at. We were in an uptrend, in an uptrend. Um, we have this um, five minute channel. We have a mid channel for the hourly. And then we have this intraday one that we just started. So market is just moving along. It goes up, pulls back to this hourly channel, pushes up, pushes back in. It's 925 right here. 926, 927, and look at where the market is at. Let's pull this over. It's at the top of the five minute channel. It's at the midline for the channel that we just started. And it's just below this hourly channel and the market opens and kaboom. You get this explosive move for me. I would have wanted it just to close about right here. I would have wanted it to just close a little above everything and I'm long, but no, it doesn't do that. This thing rockets kaboom that, that candle right there, 38 points off rip, boom, just gone. And then it just takes off y'all. And when it does this spark makes the comment, man, I need to find out how to get in these longs. And in the back of my scheme is mine. I'm thinking I'm about to short this. <laughs> so at 9:43, and let's do this. Let's switch this over to an arrow at 9:43. So look at this, y'all. This market just rips, pulls back. It's pulling back to the 9 EMA, the money zone, as some people would like to call this, where this crossover happens. Rips, 9.43, this candle here. I go short. I go short at 26.0. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Trying to see. Entry price. There we go. Six oh three. See these the times ain't adding up. Because it's saying that I'm short at twenty six oh three, which meant I would have caught a horrible feel because twenty six oh three is not way over this way over here. But I'm gonna stick with the time because that's kind of in alignment. I'm thinking that this is going to bounce and come back down. It doesn't. Next candle, 944. I take another short. Boom. 
945, I grab another one. Boom. 946, I grab two more, y'all. Boom, boom. Somewhere is up in there. This here is giving me no indication that this is going to pull back, y'all. Let's see. So that was 946. I grab another one at 948. So in this candle. So we finally get a red candle. But peep this. Let's look at this. This thing ripped off the open. Pull back money zone. What Spark would call a money zone entry right there. As for me, that's a buy setup all day long. Let's highlight that candle. Nine points. It's $18 risk. This thing rips again, and I'm going short, 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 short. Rips over this 15-minute level, y'all. Remember that level from way back over there when we was looking, and it seemed so high? We're, we rip over it. It pulls back. It pulls back, y'all. This here is where I would go long. This is where I would go long to trade this up to the midline and then up to the top. This thing rips. It just flat out rips. 949, I take another one. And at 952, I take the last ones. Boom. Again, this thing has shown no reason to go short. You get a red candle, but look, it's over a key level. Now, if that red candle would have happened like on this side, eh, maybe, but no. Then you get another red candle again on this side, nah, but no. And boom, it's just off to the races. Now, I'm going to bring this out a little bit just so we can kind of get some channels forming. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to switch this back over to trend line. I'm going to draw a channel right here. I'm, so I'm going to go from there. I'm going to go to there. And then I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to put it right there. You might ask me, why didn't I take it all the way down there? Well, remember, I like to see like where fights happen. So this was a fight to try to get it out of the channel came back up, bounced, came back up, bounced. There is no reason to start looking for shorts until this breaks this channel. So let's take a look at it. It finally breaks way up here at 10.05, y'all. 10.05. It breaks it, comes over, it's retesting this 15 minute channel and then we get a lower high this is finally where i would be able to say okay it's possibly going to be a shift in structure but that's only one lower high i want to see this come down and then come back up so let's go Comes down, comes back up. Narrow channel, though. That, that's just one candle. So even though this is a pivot, this is tight. This is tight. This is tight. Let's look at it. And that's why I say it. It's tight. It just comes, pops on out. Again, you can come here. Boom, boom. Doesn't even set a... It sets the higher low, but it doesn't set the higher high. This is where I would tell Spark, like, I don't like to trade this. This is, this is, I call it chop. Even though you might get 100 point moves out of it, it's still chop for me because I like to trade trends. But it's kind of just chops on along, not really doing nothing. Um, now I'm finally starting to see. I can look at this and I can see something. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to here. I'm gonna drop that there. And I'm going to bring this and I'm going to set it. Let's set it about right there. We finally have a down channel established. 
looks kind of sloppy on here. I'm sure if I took this over to a five minute, it'll probably look a little cleaner. But now I finally have lower low from there, lower high from there. Boom, boom, comes down, lower low. Now, finally can start looking for shorts. So this comes up. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. We see it breaks it right there. Um, it puts it back in this 15 minute up channel. You could take that. You could take that and trade it up to this midline right here. Let's let it keep going. I'm going to change the color of this to that. And then I'm going to change that to that just so it kind of sticks out. So I know that that's like, that's a five minute channel. I'll be interested if this over here was to had broken and went that way and traded back up to the midline. But because we had this established, I really want to see this get back in this channel. That's what I would want to see is get back in the channel, break the low, and then I'm taking it. Boom. It gets back in the channel right there, y'all. But it closes right on the line. This candle here, it breaks that candle. I'm in it to win it. It breaks it. Breaks it. I'm in that to win it. That's that's money, y'all. That's that's the type of trades I needed to be looking for. Not that foolishness I did over there. Um, let's look at this on a five minute real quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, doing a little bit more than I really wanted to have been doing. But yeah, see? Pivot up, pivot down. Just one candle back up to the top, pivot back down. If that would have broke the low, I'm taking that back down, but it doesn't. Comes over, look at that close right there. Closed in the channel. I'm taking the low when it breaks it. That's that's money. That's the picture of money. That's the picture of my edge. Everything else that I was doing prior to that over here was just guessing and hoping. And hope is not a strategy. On that note, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. As always, thanks for checking me out. If you hadn't hit that like button, please do so. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Um, if you trade prop firms, check out Profit Trade. They still have the 90% off special going and my promo code is still valid. LMD365. A link will be in the description. Um, yeah, take advantage of it, y'all. These companies out there are giving away money. Literally giving away money if you have edge and you can stay disciplined. And even if a lot of times discipline kind of falters, you still can catch a payout. Ask me how I know. So please, please, please think about that. Um, I actually did buy another one. I bought 150K. I think that's what the price is, 150K. Um, thing is with profit trade, unlike Top Step, unlike Apex, when you buy the eval, you do not have a reoccurring monthly fee. So if you take advantage of that 90% off deal right now and you just sit on those accounts, you don't have to worry about a reoccurring fee and then you can trade them as you want to. So me personally, I'm probably going to grab a couple of more 25Ks and a couple of more 50Ks. Right now, I have... Um, a 50k PA. I have another 50k that's passed. I just have not paid the PA fee yet because I want to get this payout. I have a 150k account that I'm up a few thousand dollars in that I opened yesterday. And like I said, I'll probably grab a few more just to keep in my back pocket. Um, 
but I'm going to work these ones that I have right now. So if you're interested, please use that link in the description. And on that note, we will be back at it again Monday. I'm going to try to stay disciplined and not take any trades tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, I do get some good trades in Sunday, but I really want to get back to being disciplined and not looking at these charts all the time. So on that note, I'm going to wrap this one up. We'll be back at it again Monday. Peace.